This is the uh, demonstration for my sound commander, which was an answer to the virtual sound man. Um, the uh, virtual sound man has an LED screen with numbers on it that you have to memorize. That was the first deficiency I found with the virtual sound man. The, um, so when I designed my product, the very first thing that I wanted to do was have a, a large screen that I can see from off stage with configurable names for each track. I uh, named my first track Sound Commander so you can see it. And um, of course there's a remote. Um, it does not need to look at the computer. It can be out in the audience. It could be behind walls. It could be 100 feet away. It's a very powerful little bugger. But you can see that it plays right as soon as I press my thumb on, it, on the next one. Okay, so I have a stop, obviously. Um, I can play it right, right up again. Um, one of the features that I liked about Virtual Sound Man was being able to fade and go to the next song, which is uh, what that one did. You can see right away that it's queued up the next song in my list, which in my case is the Price is Right when I go out into the audience. So I can play that right away, and I'm out of the audience. It can play as long as I want or as short as I want. When I'm ready for it to stop, I simply fade into the next song. Um, and you can see that it goes right to my next bit, which is my rope routine. Um, it's very, very configurable per track. Um, I have uh, set up many options on my remote control. Uh, you can zoom in here and see. I have a uh, stop, uh, so that stops the song. I have a, a, a fade in advance and a previous song. So you can actually literally, you can see right here, go very fast uh, to the next song, to the, 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 the previous song. Um, and then, of course, the play. So when I'm ready to play it, it just plays. So I'll go ahead and fade it out to the next song there. And it goes right to the next. The other cool feature that I added to this was uh, being able to attach a track to a button. Um, so I have these two buttons right here. And those two buttons are specific tracks that I asked. So, so like maybe you want a boing in your audience. In your, so I have this boing sound. I have it at my disposal whenever I need. Or I also have a, um, if I need an applause, um, I have the applause whenever I want. Um, the last feature that I'd like to share with you guys is this guy right here, um, the uh, speed at which a track fades. Um, so this one I have on a short fade, you'll hear it right now. Um, and when I'm ready to fade, it's a, it's a pretty short time. Now I configured that to be short. The next one's a long fade, and you'll hear the difference. Um, wait, hold on, let me get back there, there we go. Long fade, ready? Here you go, so I just hit fade. See how it fades out much longer. And then of course I can make uh, no fade, which this is a long fade. Uh, no fade, which here goes, ready? And there's no fade. The very last feature that I would like to share with you guys, I know that I told you that there was going to be other features, but um, this feature that I'd like to share with you is, um, is uh, per track you can configure what it does when it ends. For instance, if it, you have a song that goes and you want it to repeat, you can have it repeat. If you want it to stop and start up again cued at the same track, you can do that. Uh, very useful when you have stingers and stuff like that. And then finally, you can obviously have it uh, go to the next song and continue playing, or you can go to the next song and queue up. And that's it. Um, it's, uh, it's far cheaper than Virtual Sound Man. Uh, even after you buy a uh, refurbished laptop, it'll be far cheaper. And uh, I hope you guys like it, but it's very responsive and, and I love it. So thanks for uh, sound, uh, the Sound Commander. That's it. Thanks.